during college, I volunteered at the Marillac Clinic, and I met these two phenomenal women there, Amy Davis and Monique Morisot. Um, and, you know, they were these amazing mothers and wives, and they traveled, and they were athletic, and they, all these things. And it uh, turns out they were family, fa uh, family practice physicians who also seemed to know everything. And I thought, wow, I want to be like them. And uh, I didn't realize what a lofty goal that was. It's a big one. And so now, for the last three years, I've been here, uh, that poor schmuck on call, getting called in the middle of the night, delivering babies, um, getting called when a patient is, is uh, crashing or, or actively dying. And, uh, you know, I, I thought, here is the beauty of family medicine and uh, what a privilege that is that we've had. And so, uh, it's true, this is all about thanking our families and thanking the faculty. So. To the faculty, we have an outstanding faculty, and uh, I thank you for your commitment and your devotion to teaching us every day, and your humor and your patience. And um, on top of that, this incredible faith that you put in us that we are going to make the right decision, because that's <laughs> impressive. Um, and <laughs> But you've given us the tools and the training to do so, and we appreciate that. And then just uh, to the incoming interns, uh, some food for thought is that um, you will not find a better group of people than the people that are surrounding you today. Um, so remember that. Love them and learn from them. And uh, it's hard, it's a long journey, but three years will go by fast. And so really every day, just try to, try to remember and embrace that, that each day is a learning opportunity and, uh, and this is some of the best years you'll ever have. So thanks. When I was thinking about what I was going to say today, um, this old adage came to mind that's probably only talked about in the Midwest, but it goes like this, the brain is like jello and you've got to put all the good stuff in before it sets. <laughs> as ridiculous as this sounds, I could not help but think about how you all have helped to mold me, just like the jello, into the physician and the person that I am today and to fill my brain with all of those wonderful pieces of knowledge, just like the fruit or Snickers. So finally, to the faculty, I can't say enough nice things about them, um, but they're great physicians, great teachers, and truly amazing individuals and role models, and I will forever hear your voices in my head spouting random bits of information. The last three years have just been an amazing experience. They're a great combination of medical training, some long hours, learning, and then a lot of fun, both in the hospital um, and on the trails. I just, I felt privileged. Um, <laughs> to have spent, spent, you know, if there was any group of people I could imagine spending 80 hours a week with some weeks for the last three years, it would definitely be this group um, of very amazing, supportive, and talented people. You guys never left a dull moment, whether or not it was, you know, imagining all of our patients in a soap opera, which I have to thank Shannon for that great visual for me. It got me through a lot of rough nights imagining them in a soap opera, um, or enjoying Sabrina dressed up as Sherm, also a pearl or trying to struggle to remember the AFP article that I read yesterday, let alone one from, you know, October 15th, 2001. I will say there's a great article on groin injuries and in athletes from that, that journal you might want to check out. Um, or heading out for a post-call adventure, uh, you know, thanks to all my adventure buddies. Um, Josh, thanks for being there for the last seven years of medical school and before that, and I really just wanted to thank my family for coming to my sixth graduation, um, and hopefully my last graduation ever. So. I feel really lucky to have selected Grand Junction for residency and now to be staying in Grand Junction and beginning my career here. It's just an amazing medical community and the residency in the hospital and thank you everybody for making it what it was.